it's scary what 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 is is passable and acceptable now for normal culture in the US. He's watering the seeds of hate. He's an asshole. And Germany is uh, now uh, in my eyes the leader of the free world. There's a lot of work went into that record and uh, and I think our fans fans love it. Yeah. German artists. Um Hello, I'm John. And this is Jordan. <laughs> and uh you're <laughs> we're in Billy Talent and you're watching Shout Loud TV. Hey guys, welcome to a new episode of Shoutlaw TV. This weekend we are at the Taubertal Festival. Today it's the last day and I'm sitting here with today's headliner, Billy Talent, um, with John and Ian. Yeah, um, this summer you're playing a lot of festivals, especially in Germany. What have been the highlights so far? Uh, I celebrated my 42nd birthday at the Deutschbrenn Festival. That was pretty cool. To uh, have 50,000 Germans sing happy birthday to you is pretty kind of a nice little feeling. Uh, but the whole tour has been has been a lot of fun. Yeah, it's been uh, last couple of days have been a little rainy, but uh, overall the weather's been really great, and the shows have been great. And the open flare last night was amazing. It's very very cool. We've been enjoying it. Looking forward to some more. We gotta get him back. We gotta <laughs> I need it back. Yes. <laughs> um, one year ago, you released your latest record, Afraid of Heights. How satisfied are you with the record and also with the reaction of your fans to the record? I'm uh, very satisfied with the with the record. Um, there's a lot of work went into that record, and uh, it's uh, it turned out great. And, and I think our fans fans love it. Yeah, but uh, we still uh, yeah still a lot of a lot of uh, work to do. Yeah, it's been it's been real fun touring the record, and uh, as the tour has gone along, we've noticed that people are really digging the new songs and the ones that are in the set and they're going over really really great so it feels uh it feels like the record's been accepted really really nicely by the fans yeah i like it very much too um you ended this record uh, with some electronic vibes can we expect more of this in the future uh yeah uh, we're gonna do the whole next record is gonna be electronic no no guitars <laughs> nobody likes guitars anymore so We're gonna do a fully electronic record. So you're going, you're going to play at Tomorrowland next year? Tomorrowland. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> just kidding. Um, when can we expect the re the release of your new record? We we haven't even really discussed uh, working new working on new material yet. So uh, I think in general we've just kind of tried to. Well, Ian kind of leads the way on that, but when things start to happen, then we'll start we start working on new music. So there's never we've never really had like a say. Oh, we got to start getting into the studio right away. It's never been like that. So yeah, I think uh, I'll I'll usually write stuff when I'm feeling inspired to write, and and it's it's uh, it's been a weird time for the band. So I'm not really inspired right now. Um, have you know with Aaron Aaron not being with us and right now and i think we're just going home and f figuring that out it's going to be a big part of the next record yeah. um, so what's uh, the actual health stages of aaron is there a chance that he will join the band soon uh right now he is still just focusing on an, on his own personal health uh we don't have any kind of uh timelines like that and we he needs and and uh He just needs to worry about uh, his own mind and body without worrying about Billy Talent right now. So that's where we're at, and he's working really hard uh, on, on, you know, trying to get, hit, um, you know, feeling in, into a better position. But And he's doing well, but it's, uh, it's a big battle. Yeah, it's a long way to go. Um, last year, uh, Benjamin called Donald Trump the most terrifying person on the planet when you played at Rock and Ring. Um, after a few months of governance, what are your positions now? He's even more terrifying. Yeah, yeah. Definitely more terrifying, and and uh, and it's, it's scary what 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 is is passable and acceptable now for normal culture in the U.S. I mean, if you look at what happened yesterday in Charlottesville, it's disgusting. Yeah, he's watering he's watering the seeds of hate. 
you know, he never comes out and, and uh, uh, condemns it, which which basically helps breed the hate. You know, he's a he's an asshole. I totally agree. Um, uh, one more question to this theme. Um, as a Canadian citizen, how have you been affected by Trump's politics? Uh, we're directly affected by Trump's politics because, uh, like, we're neighbors, we're neighbors to to the U.S. and we're so affected by their culture, uh, you know. And it, and when you're an adult and you can digest it and and it's fine, you can you have your own ways. But there's young people that are growing up in this culture that are being exposed to this and don't know how to digest it. So it's it's very scary. Everything that happens down there affects us uh, Canadians. I don't think have the same. In general, we don't think the same way as Americans, but there are some Canadians that do. Yeah, I think I think what happened was like I mean, Canadians are a lot different than Americans, but definitely it was a, kind of a wildfire effect spread because there was definitely a rise in racist incidents in in even Toronto last year, like in, in surrounding area we're from, which you would never see that in the news normally, and and just in the last year, there's just more and more. You know, incidents and hate crime incidents because of Trump. It's he's literally made it acceptable. Yeah, he's, for ev any closet racist to come out and spew their hatred, and it's it's uh, it's scary. It's this strange uh, spot to be in. And Germany is uh, now, uh, in my eyes, the leader of the free world. I think uh, your country is beautiful, and your politics here are beautiful. It's amazing. Yeah, uh, on Friday, Rise Against headlined Taubertal Festival. They are also a, a band who approach uh, social themes in their music. Is music a way to fight political problems? Uh, I think it is. Um, I don't necessarily think that's music's role, but I think uh, if you if music allows people to express themselves that way, and if you feel obligated to it, and uh, I think people, if you're inspired to 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 rise up and write a song that that you know that's political i think that's fine yeah i mean it i mean music is music there's all forms of it but uh i think um someone's got to write stuff that um spreads awareness for what's happening because uh, we grew up in a generation in the 90s where uh, almost every band had a statement about what was happening uh politically and and now you don't see that so much anymore so i think it's even more important than ever to to stand up and 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 talk about things that are n not right in this world and yeah there's all these bands like rise against doing that is is great and the the stupid like argument that you hear from from people is like oh stick to music you know things like that or even when a sportsman says does something political they say stick to sports or a sports writer says something political stick to sports writing you know that's bullshit everybody should be able to express themselves especially when there's like atrocities happening you know it affects everybody Yeah, um, last week you released the music video for Ghost Ship of Cannibal Rats, which is uh, a short stop motion film. Who had this idea of using stop motion and what do you want to express with stop motion and also the music video? I think um, we, we were, um, we'd gotten a, a couple treatments from uh, this guy Jeremy that directed uh, a bunch of videos for this band Pop. And uh, they're really cool ideas and, and uh, when he presented this one, We were all on board with it. I mean, it turned out really great, and and uh, stop motion is something we've never really explored before um, in our videos. So it, we thought it was just a cool, cool way to get uh, the story and the song across. I I wish there was a live element to the video, but I mean, it's kind of cool having you know the stop motion part as well. Turned out pretty decent though. Yeah, I like how uh, it, it kind of, it's a loose interp interpretation of the lyrics, I think, which, uh, you know, it tells a good story and it's kind of sad at the end. And uh, I, I think it turned out really cool. It's a different video for us. We haven't made a video like that. I think it's the first video that we're not in, right? Yeah. Oh, no, Running Across the Tracks. No. Yeah. yeah, and so far you have released five records as Billy Talent and one more as, uh, what was the name of it? Pez? Yeah. Um, which record do you like personally the most? Uh, probably our second one or, or the last one. The second one had a, had, I don't know, just had this, it seems to be our fan favorite, but not just for that reason. I think it just has, it has a nice flow to it. And, and, and it, it was a certain time in our career and our lives that 
you know, everything was really exciting and and um, and it was, you know, it was interesting because we we were on Atlantic for the first and second record, and during that time, after that, we we left Atlantic, so it was it was an interesting record, and then going to this record, same kind of thing. There was it was a little bit bittersweet uh, because it was a great, you know, fun record to make, but at the same time, we didn't have Aaron playing on it, so. Um, I find those those records that are the hardest to make uh, end up turning it the best for some reason. No, I, I really can't make a choice. I I like them all for a lot of different reasons. I'm currently fond of the new record because it's the new record and the songs are really fun to play live and we recorded in Toronto in our own studio and there, there was a lot of things that I love about the process of the new record. But when I think about all the records, they all have like a special kind of thing to them that... that you know, I think they're great, and we've worked so hard on all the records to try to make every record perfect. And um, I think uh, it's really, really hard for me to choose. Yeah, um, this is going to be my last question. Are there any German artists you are listening to at the moment? German artists. Um, I s I'm excited to hear the new Beat Stakes record in the fall. Um, Right now, I haven't really gotten anything. Well, Stilly's cousins, besides from Stilly's cousins' pants. Yeah, and there's uh, a little. Uh, um, what do they call it? Miss. Oh, Miss Resist, and uh, Suburban Rex. Suburban Rex. <laughs> That's the uh, there's the, <sighs> the German artist. I can't th uh, think of his name right now. That he's always on the radio in Toronto. Uh, never dance like this before. We can't talk about it. No, no, uh, no, no. Yeah. It's uh. Oh wait, there's another band, uh, Milky Chance too. Milky Chance, that's yeah, is that the same? Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> yeah, they're from Germany, right? Yeah. Yeah, they're they're really good. But we played a festival with them uh, a few weeks ago. I wouldn't and, uh, say I'm listening to them, but they get played. The, yeah, the they get played on the radio all the time, and and I'll listen to it. I'll, I enjoy it. I might get the album. Anything I should be listening to, or we should be listening to? Mm. Shout, shout loud recommends. Yeah. Uh, shout loud recommends uh, the band Heiskalt. They played on this festival on Thursday. They are a German post-hardcore band, and I think you could like them. Yeah. And also Fjord. Um, oh, I saw them. They were playing that. Yeah, they are playing at Open Flair, I think. Yeah. Yeah, because that's spelled with a short. Yeah, in German it's <laughs> Fjord, but uh, yeah. in English Fjord. <laughs> yeah. yeah, cool. There are a lot of bands, a lot of German bands out there who are worth listening to. Yeah, stimmt. Yeah, they are also Germans. Yeah. All right. Um, so thank you for the interview and uh, enjoy tonight's show. <laughs>